Welcome to Techidia Startup Masterclass. I'm Dubisi Ekekwe. This is to have a better explanation on understanding equity dilution. I've received some questions in the board for deeper, deeper explanation of this. So let's assume that we have three founders, founder A, founder B, founder C, and they have started a business. At the beginning of that business, they have decided that based on the contributions of each of these members, that A has 60%, B 30%, and C 10%. And there could be many reasons why this kind of structure is possible. It could be that A is bringing money. It's also bringing a lot of network technology and so many capabilities. At the end of the day, the founder just decided that 60, 30, 10, that basically works for them. And they started the business, as they ran it for some months. At the end of the day, they now said, hey, we have done well, but we need more resources. We need to raise capital, a very critical factor of production, because with capital, we can move faster, hire more workers, expand our development, and do more things at a very faster pace. So getting into that will require doing a kind of evaluation. What is this company really worth? We say that before they bring in any money into that business, we say that the company is at the pre-money valuation. And that pre-money valuation, they have calculated it to be $800,000. In other words, they say that the company is worth $800,000. And there's so many reasons and so many components that you can use to do that. We have already explained that in the board. Now, $800,000 is what the company is worth. Now, they want to raise from investor A, $200,000. If they end up raising this money, $200,000, at this funding round or phase, it means that by adding two hundred dollars to 800000 the valuation of the company at post money, which means when the transaction has closed and when the payments have been done, that the company is now worth $1 million. But that is also something very significant. If somebody gives you $200,000 when the valuation of the business is one million. It means that individual is buying 20% of the company. So typically, what happens here, you have to reserve 20% for this new investor who is bringing $200,000. Now, all the remaining previous investors now have to now fractionalize the remaining 80%. So you just do some simple algebra. So you do in secondary school or primary school, I would say. Now, when you do that, they will share the same proportion, the remaining 80%. So at the end of the day, everything will come down to 100%. Now, let's also assume that this team, they keep building, growing, and now they want to go and raise more money. And at this time, they have done their valuation, and they say the company is now worth $9 million, and they want to raise $1 million, meaning that post-money valuation is 10 million dollars good thing happens for raising one million at post money of 10 million it means they are selling 10 percent of the company and for selling 10 percent of the company you reserve it for this new investor b that just joined the club of shareholders in this business then the remaining members will now have to share the balance of 90 percent which is now available so when you do your algebra Proportionally, you get this is now what each member of this business. Remember that investors A now is now seeing the 20% drop to 18 because it also has to make and accommodate the fact that a new person has brought money into the company to own a part of it. But at the end of the day, everything comes down to 100% for all these different phases. Third round, fourth round, the same thing happens. The notice one thing A had 60%. When the company was worth 800,000. That basically means he was worth $480,000 that time. But now he has been diluted or she has been diluted from 60% to 43%. But this is a very good one, guys. Gentlemen and ladies, because at 43% of $10 million, this guy is now hitting $4.3 million in net worth. So even though the percentage has dropped, the value derivable has actually gone up. So this is what happens 
in business. Of course, investor A could also be the same investor that is bringing dates. And when you do that, you don't now start saying and start lumping them together. No, you don't do that. Each of these funds are coming at different phases of valuation. And they must be calculated, not thinking that, hey, he brought in 200,000, he brought in one. If they are the same, you have to treat it differently because they are bringing that money a different valuation. And that means that the percentages that is being been bought, the percentage that is being bought at every phase is going to be computed separately. And then, so that is what it takes. And please, if you have questions, go back to the board, the comment section, or send to admin. I'm very happy to have a Zoom call with the team to just explain what is all about at the deeper level. Welcome to Techidia Masterclass and continue spending your time with us. Bye bye. <laughs>